Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. I'd like to continue on with if statements now, a more complex if statement, a sequential set of if statements where you're asking several questions in a row. So uh, let's get started. <laughs> Here's our program that we want to write. We want to write a program that you input a uh, speed of your vehicle going and it calculates what your speeding ticket would be. Um, and what you want to happen is you only want one ticket out. So you don't want to ask the question if you're over 56 miles an hour you get a hundred dollar ticket and if you're over 80 miles you also get a five hundred dollar ticket and if you're over 100 miles an hour you don't you, you get a thousand dollar ticket. You only want one of them. So it's several questions that have to be asked and there's a, actually a couple of ways to do it and we're going to show you how to do that here with if statements. We start off with our proverbial hello world program. We compile it. We make sure it runs. I have. It does. And now we're going to add in uh, an integer. We're going to uh, read in a ticket and uh, we're going to say speed. We will initialize it to zero just as a good habit thing to do. We will change our hello world to uh, please enter your speed colon and we're going to take off the end L just so that the speed that we enter will appear right beside this uh, string that we're running around and we want to read in our string our uh, speed excuse me now I'm going to go ahead and um, print it out and uh, just to make sure that what we read in is indeed what we uh, entered. Speed is speed. And then just a little bit of a practice here. We will build our program. Looks to be okay. We'll run it. Let's enter in speed. We will say 56. And it says you speed is 56. Very good. All right. All right, so that works. Uh, we'll go back and take this off now. Now we're going to do our uh, if statements. There we go. And we'll do the whole thing. Okay. Well, we want to start high and in, in, in uh, we want to start low and go down high. And I'll I'll explain why in a little bit. The first question we want to ask is if okay the speed is over uh, greater than 55. Um, it's 56 or greater, okay, now we want to know that, but if it's over 55, we also want to know if the speed is uh, greater than or equal to 80, okay, remember look up at the, if the, if the speed is at, is at or over 80 miles an hour, so it includes 80 miles an hour, so we want to ask that question, it's over 80, and then we also want to ask the question if the speed is greater than or equal to 100. All right, now we have uh, the first thing we can we can um, print out. If it's over 55, it's over. If it's at or over 80, if it's at or over 100, we know that they're over 100 miles an hour. Then we can actually say, okay, see out. Your ticket is. $1,000. And now, okay. Now, if it's not over 100 miles an hour, if it fails that test, but it passed the one before it, which is the speed is over 80 miles an hour, at or over 80 miles an hour, we know that we're still exceeding the speed. We're not over 100 miles an hour, but we are over 80, so now we get a ticket of $500. So we can say else, see out your ticket is $500. Okay. And uh, we end that statement. Now, if we've failed that test, 
in other words if we fail the if speed is greater than 80 miles an hour we still know that we're over 55 or 56 or greater but we're less than 80 miles an hour we only get a ticket of hundred dollars so we say else and this is associated with the um, uh, the 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 uh, previous uh, 55 else okay see out your ticket is only 100 in Dell and then finally we can say else see out this is the default we've satisfied none of those we can say see out you are a safe driver put an exclamation point right there in Dell okay well we've written our program now let's see if it works Go up here and build it and build the project. Okay, there we are. And we're going to say run. We're going to run the untitled right now. We're going to say untitled. And we're going to enter a speed. And we're going to test all the cases. So let's see if we get a bad ticket. Let's put it in $100. So, uh, 100 miles an hour. So I say $100. Ah, oh, your ticket is $1,000. Okay, good. We'll run it again. We're going to say we're, going to say we're uh, 95. Oops. Put it in the wrong place. 95. Okay, well, your ticket is $500, and we look up, and that, that should be right. It's between 80 and 100. And we're going to say run again. We're going to run again. We're going to say, we're going to say 56. Okay, just barely speeding. Oops. 56. Yep, your ticket is $100, and now we're going to do our final test. And we're going to say, uh, we're going to do 54, and say, ah, you're a safe driver. Now, you notice I tested all the conditions. I didn't do a thorough test. A thorough test would have involved me um, not only typing in the ones in between, but on the borders. I would have tested 55, 80, 100, and then I would have tested uh, things on either side of them. I would have tested 54, 55, and 56, 79, 80, 81. 99, 100, and 101, and that 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 would have been a, a, a pretty good uh, uh, test to ensure that uh, I got a correct algorithm. All right, those are sequential if statements. Again, there's a couple of ways to actually do this. This is just one, but this shows you an example of a sequential set of if statements and their associated else statements. Lining up the if and the associated else is very important. And I want to show you uh, something that. Uh, uh, probably uh, would associate this else is associated with that if this else is associated with that if and this else is associated with that if notice how it uh, expands outward from the from the center hope this helps you um, on to uh, a more complex set of if statements after this one this is sequential if statements um, look forward to doing the next one for you